What's up, what's up everybody? It's John from Optech coming at you today with a review of the recently released Dell new 15 7000 series. This is the Dell 7567, the successor to the really popular Dell 7559 that you probably heard me talk a lot about for being such a great value for a gaming laptop and the successor for 2017 follows in the same footsteps, arguably an even better value this year coming equipped with KB Lake as well as the new Pascal architecture that is either an i5 KB Lake, i7, or either the GTX 1050 or GTX 1050 Ti. And that is replacing from last year's model had the GTX 960M. The 1050 Ti gets around 75% more gaming performance. So this is really exciting stuff. This model sets you back $900. The base model with the 1050 sets you back $800 and there's configurations all the way up to $1,100. So I will leave links in the description box down below if you're interested in viewing those different configurations. Well, enough wasting time guys. Let's get right into this review. So right off the bat, you notice that this is the hibiscus red, that Beijing red, red. and I really like this red. I thought it was gonna be like really over the top gamer red, but it kind of looks like ruby red. It's elegant, has a soft touch finish on the top, as well as in the interior. It weighs in under six pounds, just an inch in height. It is mostly a plastic build, but overall the build is really nice. There's hardly any flex to the display and the keyboard. It feels almost as if it has sturdiness and rigidity like it had a metal frame. So job well done here. The edges are angled for a more aggressive aesthetic and it has an aggressive grille in the front as well as the back. So I really like that aesthetic update. The lid opens easily with one hand. There's an updated hinge mechanism that's now in the center. It reminds me so much of the Lenovo Y700 I reviewed last year. It gets points for looking cooler, but actually it's a little too loose uh, for me since I can notice the screen shaking a little bit if I'm typing rather quickly. So the base of the laptop opens quite easily with just a single screw, making it very user-friendly to upgrades. And underneath the hood, a 256 gigabyte M.2 solid state drive with really fast sequential read and write speeds, and also room to add an additional SSD in that two and a half inch drive bay. And it has one eight gigabyte sticks of DDR4 2400 megahertz random access memory with room to add an additional stick supporting up to 32 gigabytes. And it has a 74 watt hour battery that's gonna give you roughly an hour 30, hour 45 of gaming on battery and around six hours for office productivity and web browsing. And the laptop comes equipped with two front facing speakers behind those grills, a subwoofer powered by Wave Max Audio that actually delivers some pretty impressive audio, more than sufficient for a gaming laptop, giving you a very immersive experience. So the keyboard is full size and has a red backlight, chiclet style, standard travel distance with the keys, and a nice little touch with the WASD keys having an outline in red around them. So what's really nice is the sturdiness of the keyboard. When pressing down on it, there's like hardly any, if at all, flex. Then the trackpad is also quite nice. It has a very subtle texture to it, and I really like how tactile it is to click. It's definitely easy to use with native Windows drivers for gestures. You notice it's a little off center. That might bother you since the edge of your left hand might accidentally touch it, but the drivers are good at recognizing this and not picking up those inputs. And I gotta say that left and right click has really nice feedback that there's a really well-defined pressure point. So let's talk about that notorious display. So this is a TN panel, a bit of a regression from the IPS panel that we saw last year. Although the brightness average is around the same, this is 221 nit, it's the color accuracy that really is subpar this year. And being a TN panel, you do lose out on the viewing angles of IPS. So horizontal is, I would say, mediocre, and vertical viewing angles, a little less than mediocre. It's no way a deal breaker for me. It's just odd to see such big improvements to the design, the hardware, and of course the gaming performance, and then see a slight step backwards for the display. But I played a lot of games on it, edited video in Adobe Premiere, and honestly, it's definitely not bad. So about that gaming performance, if you remember the performance of the 970M, which pretty much is good for 60 frames per second in the majority of AAA titles, even the more demanding games, you know, really impressive. And the 1050 Ti edges out the 970M in most games performance-wise, so that's so impressive to see in a laptop 
that retails for just $900. So let me roll some benchmarks for you guys and also be sure to subscribe to my channel All of Tech because I got a full video coming that's gonna focus exclusively on the gaming performance of the Dell 7567 with the GTX 1050 Ti. Let's roll those benchmarks. And moving it on along now to that port selection. I got the laptop right up to the camera. You can see this has three USB 3s, an SD card reader, headphone microphone combo jack, HDMI 2.0, and that RJ45 Ethernet. It also comes with the standard features like Bluetooth and wireless, and it has that noble security lock. So pretty standard stuff. And the thermal management has seen marked improvements for 2017. They've done a great job with the way the heat is dissipated. Having a dual fan cooling system blowing the heat out the back of the laptop, I do really like this because having it on my lap, the hot air is able to escape nicely with this design without heating up my legs. And also there's no real noticeable hot areas on the inside of the laptop while gaming, other than up at the top center, but the palm rest and typing, it's really comfy. The fans do ramp up a bit for all this cooling under gaming load, but nonetheless, it's totally acceptable decibel level ranges for the great job of cooling the dual fan design delivers. Also, a webcam up top is 720p with dual array digital microphone that looks and sounds like this. What's up everyone, Autotech? This is what the webcam looks and sounds like. So let's recap guys, this 15.6 inch Dell 7567 laptop comes spread out of the gate with amazing hardware updates, a really nice redesign to the aesthetic and the cooling. So you get KB Lake, either the i5-7300HQ or the i7-7700HQ and either equipped with the GTX 1050 or GTX 1050 Ti NVIDIA Pascal graphics, which is giving a huge leap in performance from last year's Maxwell architecture within. Well, that's all I got for this video, guys. You let me know what you think of this laptop in the comment section down below. Is this new Dell 7000 series a worthy successor to last year's model that really was popular for all the right reasons? Well, you know what's up. Thumbs up if you like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, Awe of Tech, what are you waiting for, guys? Please be sure to subscribe so I can give you guys some more tech content on the regular. Can't wait to catch you guys in the next one.